What do you think of the view up here? It's incredible. We have mostly clear skies, just a few clouds over there. Really couldn't ask for a better day up here. And we are just barely getting started. Good morning. We are now here on a bus. And where are we headed to today, Melissa? Shultorn. So we took the train down from Dengen to Ladabrun and then Ladabrun over to Stetchaburg. And then from there, we're going to take the cable car up to Shultorn, which is the restaurant up there is a 360 rotating restaurant. And it's also the Bond 007 restaurant that they uh, featured in one of the films. So that's pretty cool. And then, yeah, we made a reservation. We're going to have brunch up there. And well, on that note, until July 31st, which is tomorrow, they're having a special. Oh. Um, where it includes, for the cost of the cable car and brunch is, what did I say, 62? 62, yeah. 62 francs. If we had just paid for the cable car by itself, it would have been 42. So we're getting brunch for 20 francs, which is relatively inexpensive for, for Switzerland. Switzerland. Yeah. And we have an hour and a half to complete the brunch and the restaurant completes one full yeah, rotation yeah. every 45 minutes so we'll be able to see two rotations during the during time, yeah. our time there yeah. we did hear that you can only sit on the outer edges of the restaurant if you're a table of four or more or only a table of two but we're hoping that maybe it's not that busy and mm -hmm. they'll just give us a table yeah it's 8 30 right now so by the time we get up there it's 9 30 so it should be relatively not busy so yeah hopefully. i mean people aren't up early here unless you're going on a hike so yeah. and the weather here today has or this morning should be still clear and Schulthorn has a webcam so we checked it this morning and it looked clear so that's what we're doing why we're doing it today i will say the cable car up to Schulthorn is not included in the bernese overland pass so it's an extra cost but people say it's more worth it to go there instead of Yangfrau. Because, and that's because you're actually sitting on the top of a mountain, whereas Yangfrau sits in a saddle between two mountains. So from Schulthorn, you're looking at the Swiss, Swiss Alps, whereas when you're on Yangfrau, you're on the Swiss Alps and you're looking at the glacier. Ah, interesting. Yangfrau job is like $200 if you just pay for the ticket itself. More than $200, quite expensive. to Schulthorn, we paid 124 francs. That includes brunch at the top in the rotating restaurant, which you need a reservation for. So the brunch is normally 35 francs. We're getting it for 20 francs. And then it also includes the gondola, gondola ride up. It's a pretty good deal considering like if we did a la carte at the restaurant, we would pay over 20 francs per person anyway. At least. Yeah. Yeah, if you want drinks and all that. Yeah, hopefully when we get up there, it'll still be clear. Yeah, I'm excited. So from here, we have to make three changes of gondolas. So from here to Gimmelwald, and then Gimmelwald to Murin, Murin to Birg, and then Birg to Schilthorn. came up the first cable car and now we are heading on our second cable car.
we've now arrived in Murin. And this is a town that you could also stay in. Uh, a lot of people actually stay here as well. But now we have to take the cable car from Mirin up to Björk and then another one up to the top. motion sensor but then there's not a manual button. <laughs> It's because it's pretty empty. Why wouldn't you give it to us? And I can see, I can, if you look here, you can see it's rotating. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess here, yep. ever so slightly. So, it's called the James Bond Brunch because everything is Bond themed here. Hello, good morning, good morning. For, yeah, two tickets for the breakfast. Yes. Sure. English, German? German. English. English. You can tell that it's rotating slowly. I'm impressed with Switzerland. I have full LTE service up here. And we are on top of a mountain. So far, the weather has cooperated with us today, and the views from here are amazing. So we had to take four gondolas up here. It wasn't too bad. It, Melissa, you said it was like 30 minutes for all the gondolas. Quite efficient. You get, you get off on one, you get on the other one, and then it just takes off. All you can eat. Um, so it's up there, and they told us, always remember your table number, because since the restaurant rotates, where you got off to go to the buffet is not going to be where you get back on. And then Melissa and I got these little stickers on our arm. Oh, yes. Which represents that we got the buffet. <laughs> but everything up here is very much James Bond themed. But there's quite a lot to do up here, so we'll probably stay up here for quite a bit. Here and then at each of the lower stations, there are things to do as well. is amazing and an excellent value. For 20 francs, it's all you can eat. There's cheeses and cold cuts. You can get prosecco, there's a soup, there's a hot section with black sausage, bacon, eggs, pancakes, waffles. There is a pastry section with bread and croissants. Then there's like a fruit and yogurt section. There's a dessert section where we had a really good panna cotta, coffee, juices, so good. And we're able to sit here for an hour and a half. It's, we still have about 17 more minutes before they supposedly kick us out. I don't know if they will. They only take reservations on the half hour up until 11 a.m. Alan didn't think we needed a reservation, but because we had a reservation, I think we got a table on the window. If it was busier, we would have to sit in the middle there where it does not rotate. So yeah, highly recommend this experience, eating at Piz Gloria at the top of Shelburne.
to sum up this experience here, we haven't even been outside, but if you're here, this is something you definitely have to do. I think it's definitely worth the money to come out here, especially with the brunch included. So I don't know if they're going to still be running this special. I think this special is called the 007 special, bond special, with the brunch and the cable car ticket. If they're still doing it, for sure do it. Um, even if they're not, I think it's fine. Yeah, even if they're not, it might be still worth it. You are able to see all the mountains that we've been hiking. Like for example, right behind me is the ridge that we're now looking down on that we hiked yesterday from Shimenke Plata to Pierced. And we can actually see it from here. I think it's right behind us. And then you can see the lakes. And yeah, I think this is probably the best view in the whole region. That's easy to get to. Ooh, it's a little brisk out here. Actually, not too bad. So they have all these viewing platforms out here. And then there's, we saw a little trail that you can head down as well. You can go down here and touch the snow. Man, it is beautiful out here. So this Schilthorn Summit was the filming location for one of the Bond movies called On Her Majesty's Secret Service in 1968. And this panorama terrace here was a helicopter landing pad in the movie. What do you think of the view up here? It's incredible. We have mostly clear skies, just a few clouds over there. Really couldn't ask for a better day up here. And we are just barely getting started. Like there's a, a lower terrace and then there are the mid stations that oh, we can yeah. go to between here and Berg. So the reason why they selected this location for the Bond film was that it made like a really good scene for like a secret lab. And this is where they filmed one of their last scenes where they attacked the secret lab. Also, at the time when they filmed it, this was the longest cable car in the world. We're looking at three highest peaks here. The left is Mount Ida, the middle one is Mount I don't know. And then Young Frau. I'm not sure if you guys can see it clearly or not, but this, I believe, is what we hiked yesterday. The ridge line down there. I believe that is Fahorn. And then over here is Fierst. And so we can see a little bit of the lake down there. So I believe that is where we hiked yesterday. We made the little hike down here to this little viewing platform, and it is amazing down here. You're just down from the little restaurant little top restaurant over there and we're here by ourselves nothing else to say really it's like a 360 degree view it's perfect yeah on a clear day <laughs> i'm not sure what melissa was just doing you can get a picture <laughs> of yourself with this camera oh. so you go over there take a picture and then you load your photo I guess you get your photo by going to shilthorn.ch and then you print your photo at the souvenir shop oh but it's want... supposed to look like that they want to make some money off you. They also have this whole like museum about the Bond film. Really cool actually, definitely check it out. Was that fun? Yeah. <laughs> and they actually have a showing of the movie in there as well. So you can sit and watch a little bit.
here at Berg. It is the station, one station down from Schulthorn. There is this outdoor restaurant and then you have views of the Alps. This view might be better than the one at the very top. Man, this is crazy. So make sure you stop here and not just go all the way down. If you're coming to the Swiss Alps, this is the one spot you must come. And that place is Berg. This is the thrill walk here. We've now come on this thing called the thrill walk. It's basically the same thing as that fierce cliff walk. So just these platforms and sidewalk extended out from the side of the mountain. But the views here are amazing. No, oh, you can't do it. It's a video. Oh, so they have this little slack line deal over here where you can try your slack lining, but it's quite difficult. It's easier on the ends because it's tighter. Yeah. Well, at least I tried instead of holding on like you. I knew I couldn't do it, so. <laughs> Good job. What do you think, Melissa? It's so cool. This whole experience is one of the best things you can do in the Jungfrau region. I am so happy. Yes, instead of going up there and taking the Jungfrau Yuck, come here. Come to Schilthorn, Birg, Murin, because you're looking straight at the Alps instead of seeing the on the Alps. It's so cool. Gondolas and cableways are the way to go here. have this like another obstacle thing that you can climb through uh, so we didn't realize the cliff walk or thrill walk brought us down the hill some and now we have to climb up this pretty steep path here gravelly rock. yeah <laughs> and after yesterday's hike legs are definitely feeling it We've now arrived to Murin. This is the other town that we were considering staying in. Besides Vengen, the other recommended town is Murin. Some people like Murin better because you're looking directly at the Alps, whereas in Vengen, you are not. It's more on the side. Yeah, so this is Murin back here. And then Eiger, Launch, and then Yangfrau is literally right there. Now we're gonna check out the town for a little bit. And then there's some good little photo spots as well, but the town looks really cool. I can see why Murin is some people's preferred town to stay because it does look pretty amazing. I would say it's prettier than Bengen, for like sure. overall. For sure. Right? It's more storybook. It kind of feels like it's not a real town, it's like a made up Disney town. Disney town. Disney town, yeah. It's like the other town that we were in in, um, in Belgium. Uh, Bruges. It kind of looks like that. It has it like the, look like Bruges. It doesn't look like Bruges, but just the fact that it's like it's like a fantasy town kind of thing, like a story or a movie type town.
need one of these. Whoa, for $3.90 you get five. And the fact that you can see Iger on a clear day right in the middle of the town. There is this amazing photo spot here in Murin. It looks like an abandoned terrace. Maybe it doesn't, I don't know, it kind of looks abandoned to me. But you have this direct view of Iger and then um, Monch, and it's so cool. And then Yangfrau is just above. We took another cogwheel train, I guess you would call it, up to another area called Almen Hubel. Hubel? Hubel? Almen Hubel? Something like that. But this is the view that we're getting. And then for some reason, Switzerland always has playgrounds on the top of train stops or gondola stops or anything. So that's pretty cool. After you come down and visit Murin, you should definitely come up here to this little like flower area. It's on top of Murin. It is really, really nice up here. You'll get a really good photo from here. Trust me. <laughs>